Sir Ian Cassis, right on TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. With me, I've got the new British champion, still Commonwealth, Anthony Joshua. Were you in a real fight tonight? Yeah, man, it was good. Uh, it was more about bad blood, um, bragging rights and pride, not so much about the title. The title was a bonus, so that made it a bit more intense. Um, so, yeah, man, dinner's improved. And it was about them little margins, about who can dig that little bit deeper, and so on and so forth. And uh, that's what made it a real fun. People have been wanting your chin to be tested uh, since you turned pro. Did you get it tested tonight? Yeah, but it's a bit annoying because at British level, I shouldn't be getting it tested, if you know where I'm coming from. At the same time, um, I just got to keep on pushing on and improving. You know, we can all take shots, it's not a problem, but it's about avoiding shots. So that's what annoys me, is more to the fact that I try and evade shots as much as possible and he was catching me with some silly shots, but I tried to get it right and carried on working, that's all. Were you hurt in the fight at all? More off balance. You know, if you're hurt, you easily get knocked out, what happened in the last round. But more to the fact that it was, God bless. It was more to the fact that we're just a bit off balance and a tiny bit buzzed, so you just keep on slipping shots to get yourself together and carry on doing what you're doing. When you're hurt, there's no coming back from a heavyweight boxing. Can you tell me your version of events, what happened after the first round? It looked like mayhem in there. Um, it must have bell, the bell must have just gone, and as I'm still throwing, bang. Um, Dylan wanted to turn it into a street fight and have a straightener. His people jumped in, my people jumped in, security jumped in. Shout out to the security, because it would have been ruled off as a no contest. They got us back to our corners and the fight continued. And, uh, and that's all it was really, you know. So he didn't shake your hand after the fight, I believe. Yeah, you disappointed with that? Nah, not really, but I wasn't going to shake his because he's the one that done a lot of the talking. And then, you know, I beat him, so he should come up to me and say, listen, well done, you've done your thing, you backed up your talk. But he didn't, so I'm going to go chase the next man that's been talking about me and, and try and shake his hand and say, well done, don't work like that. So, no, nah, no shake of hand. Was this fight personal Sorry, for you? Hand if you're a bit God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. See you soon. Thank you. Was this fight personal for you? More about bragging rights and um, for the public they wanted to see two guys with bad rivalry come together and see who's improved and who, who's going to come up victorious. Just finally, obviously a lot of talk about your next fight now, Chisora has been mentioned, European title possibilities. Will you ever think about that over the Christmas period? Yeah, I think we definitely will over the Christmas period. I want to fight sooner than April. I don't mind whoever Copper it box, is. tell him. End, end I've told him George already. Gross, I've box, told not him already. View, but I don't mind, I've told him already. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Some pictures that there are. I don't want to put that on camera, but you know what the social media things like now, people just put out all these funny memes and all that stuff, but I, I just seen one there. And that could have been me, that's what everybody boxing's about. Uh, one of the best finishes, or the best finish in your career, I know you said about Zumbano Love, but the finish tonight was, was pretty impactful. And I've got to keep on doing that hopefully for the next 10 years, that's the thing about boxing, you know. Everything I do now is irrelevant because the day I get beat if it ever happens, then everything's out the window, so I just I'll keep on cracking on. Quick word on Stormzy, uh, brilliant big, performance, big, lit big, up the whole big, place big, at the O2 tonight. And that's what I try to do, I don't, I'm not really into the hype, but I knew that it was a sold out arena. We was in the van listening to the music and I just sent him a message like, come on, we've got to make this happen. And you know, he's one of the boys and he said, listen, I'm going to do that for you. He come do the mic check today. We, that, we, I messaged him Friday, Saturday he turned up, done the mic check and he performed. That's what we do, that's what love's about, man. So shout out to Stormzy. Shout out to everything you've done for the show and myself this evening. Lastly, the champ lost his third amateur fight. Like myself. Like yourself. Have you got any advice to him? Well, I'm not there yet to be giving advice, but if I was to, just take a leaf from my book. Just keep on progressing, keep on working. I lost my third fight. And what can you do? You're not going to get disheartened and sit down and stop fighting. You're going to keep on going. So whatever happens, just keep on going, bro. And good luck with the rest of your future. All right. Thank you. All right, Andy and Joshua, thanks so much. I'll see you. Thank you. I'm gonna go get my come through. I'm gonna get my blood. I gotta get my blood test done. That is yeah. your blood. Come through. Come through. All right. Cheers. Come through.